All right, so with this video, we're going to be exploring what the actual dangers and effects of a deficiency in cholecalciferol means. And a deficiency basically means that we're lacking cholecalciferol. And as we've seen before, cholecalciferol, or vitamin D3, is extremely important to our body, so lacking it can actually result in many, many serious effects. So, obviously one of the most forefront is bone disease. So, one of these is rickets. Rickets. Now, you might be wondering what exactly rickets is, and it is a disease which can cause weakened bone strength and skeletal deformities in the, shape of, in the form of bow-shaped bones. So, we can just write down skeletal deformities. So that's essentially what it is. It's a skeletal deformity, and it occurs most often in young children. It occurs most often in young children. So, essentially what causes it? Uh, many things can cause it, but most often it's a lack of cholecalciferol. So, Decreased amounts of cholecalciferol, and that's represented by this. Decreased amounts of cholecalciferol can decrease your amount of calcium absorption. decrease your amount of calcium absorption. And because of this decreased amount of calcium absorption, uh, you can actually receive uh, less skeletal development. So, skeletal development. So you can receive less skeletal development. And that's because we know that calcium is extremely important as a nutrient for your skeletal development, meaning if you lack cholecalciferol, your intestines can't successfully absorb all of the calcium it needs to, and instead you excrete it as waste instead of absorbing it and using it to develop your skeleton. So, some symptoms actually include uh, things like Things like uh, pain in the limbs and the spine, frequent bone fractures, and muscle cramps. So, bone fractures. I'm going to attempt to draw a broken bone here. So, increased bone fractures. as well as pain in the limbs. So you might, if you uh, lack any sort of skeletal development in perhaps your leg, which is where it's commonly found, you might receive some pain in this limb. So those are some of the symptoms. So that's sort of rickets as a whole. Except now we also have osteomalacia. <laughs> and 
and osteomalacia, we can see an example of it in this x-ray right over here. Osteomalacia is a disease involving the weakening of bone strengths in adults during formation. So, weak bone strength during for Mation. So weak bone strength during formation, okay? And really, that's, that's a big issue, actually, because it can result in a lot of similar uh, symptoms to rickets, um, one of them being uh, such as dull bone pain of the limbs, pelvis, or spine. So osteomalacia also has very similar symptoms as well. very similar symptoms and you might be wondering what well, what is it caused by right um, and often it's caused by again a lack of calcium needed for bone strength formation and this can be because of low cholecalciferol and low calcium because of that equals low calcium. So these two diseases are very similar. We have an example of osteomalacia right here. You can see that the bone is slightly deformed because it hasn't had enough nutrients to develop and now as an adult this person has a little bulge right here in their bones and that's because of a lack of development and this area as we can see can cause pain it can result in an increased risk of, risk of fractures so that's sort of a bone disease that can be caused from a lack of cholecalciferol um, and another reason this can actually happen is because cholecalciferol as you may have read actually stimulates a bone protein production called um, osteocalcin and it stimulates this after binding to vitamin D receptors. And if there's no cholecalciferol to bind to those receptors, the production of those proteins needed for the bone strength, osteocalcin, will decrease. Now, there's some other symptoms as well that we can actually see. So, Other symptoms. Um, so one of the big ones actually is frequent illness. Frequent illness. Uh, so oftentimes it's because vitamin D actually uh, plays a big role in developing your bones as we've just explored and these bones actually, inside of them is the bone marrow, and this is where um, your leukocytes or your immune uh, white immunity white blood cells are produced. So if you have weak bones, that can result in fewer immune cells being produced. And several studies have found that vitamin D consumption is most effective in combating respiratory tract uh, diseases. So just drawing the lungs here. It's most effective, and the cause is uh, relatively unknown, but it, there's been a correlation found that suggests that it's most effective in fighting respiratory tract diseases. So another issue is decreased wound recovery, especially in epithelial tissue. So decreased uh, tissue recovery, and especially epithelial tissue. Now, epithelial tissue is essentially a type of tissue that lines a ton of our organs and actually uh, is what makes our skin. And this epithelial tissue 
is actually, since it lines so much tissue, it actually allows for t uh, nutrients to be absorbed by cells in the bloodstream and also for waste to be excreted. So having this, um, having epithelial tissue not be able to recover quickly is a huge problem. And the last one is muscle pain. Now, the causes of this are slightly unclear as well, um, but, however, several studies found that decreased cholecalciferol has actually led to muscle pain in certain areas. So, it's all of these, as you can see, really having a low amount of vitamin D3 is very unhealthy for you because of all of these symptoms you can get, and the reason all of these symptoms happen is because of the role cholecalciferol plays in our physiological processes as humans.